Hello, so the next video in the series is going to be all about group reservations. So group reservations are really quite easy to do. It's not much different from a standard reservation. Um, you start the whole group reservation process by clicking new group reservation on the left hand menu. And it starts by picking the arrival and the departure dates. So I'm going to say they're arriving on the 15th of May and they're going to leave on the 18th of May. Um, so we don't need storage. We've got 123 spaces available on that day. Let's say full service. Find spaces. Okay, so now we're going to select from a uh, series of, of group sites. So, for example, if we want the group to be in spaces 7, 8, and 10, we can select 1, 2, Three, all three of those. So we're going to gray them out. And once we're done selecting, we can click Selections Done. If we want to go to the next page, you can do that. Say we want to book um, Group Site 28 and also 36 for Group Site. Selections Done. So we've got five um, uh, sites selected. Now we give the group a name. So let's just call this Test two and that just is a generic name for the group it could be the Smith family it could be Cubs and Scouts or whoever the group is I click create new group now it's going to select or create uh, a wagon master and the wagon master is the individual that's in charge of collecting the payment uh, from all the rest of the group and paying for the site um, so basically the key person involved in the booking. So again this is tied to your campers database so um, user, test user is a person that I've been using for the other videos. You can see here when I type in user for the last name it brings up automatically their information so I can select him again. And you can see now it's created a reservation for five spaces for test two which was the name of the group we created successfully. So group test two, the sites uh, or the sorry the wagon master is test user. It's a five uh, five space group, and I can expand this, which is going to show uh, all the um, group sites that have been reserved. Now for all of these, we can check in each individual group site. So if people are arriving at different times, you can check in each stall individually. And go back to the reservation list. You can also check in the entire group here. So this is going to uh, check in the entire group if they all have arrived at one time. <clears throat> so we'll just go ahead and check them in as a group. Done. So check in for 7, 8, 10, 28, 36. So now if I go to the in park list, we've got this reservation here. It's the test 2 group and I can expand this out and collect payment from each of these individuals. So to do that, again, I go to show. I type my payment type in here. So I'll say this guy's paying cash. He's gonna pay 151.20. Okay, now he owes zero. Say finished, and I can go through each one of these and collect payment. So maybe this guy's paying by Visa. Zero, finished. Maybe this particular guy is also paying cash. This guy might be paying MasterCard. So just kind of go through here quickly and 
and we got one final person to collect payment from. Let's go in here, and this guy is going to pay cash. All right, so all the group is paid up. You see, due is at zero for everybody that's in the park right now. So now let's uh, check some of these guys out. So let's go back to the in park list. So now we can check them out as a group. You can also uh, hit expand and and treat each one of these as individuals. So maybe a couple of people are staying longer. Um, you know, or staying a shorter period of time, so you can adjust all of that by hitting expand and working on each one individually. However, in this case, I just want to check them all out as a group, so I'm going to go back to my in park list. I'm not going to click expand, I'm just going to click checkout and confirm checkout of group test 2 on May 18th. Okay, done. They're checked out.